So let's take what we've learned about these different types of space-time intervals and apply that to think about causality in space-time itself. So I'll start with this summary picture from the previous video. So we're thinking about relationships between pairs of events, and one event we'll always say takes place at the origin. So an event over here, well that's a space-like separation, and we know that in all reference frames this will be a space-like separation. This is reference frame independent. And we also know that these two events cannot be causally connected. That's because if there were a causal signal going from here to here, it would have to travel at faster than the speed of light. And as we've seen for causality, that's not possible. Why would it travel faster than the speed of light? Well, the signal would have to get from here to here. It would have to travel a delta x that's greater than delta t. So it would have to travel faster than the speed of light. So that would not be possible. Over here in the time-like region, um, events, any time-like event, um, could be causally connected to the event at the origin. Why? Because a causal signal traveling from here to here would travel slower than the speed of light. Why? Because delta t is greater than delta x. So it travels a, a distance that's less than its time, giving it a slope um, a speed of less than 1. So with respect to this event at the origin, this, le this lets us divide space up into different regions. So let me draw a picture for that and introduce at least what I think is some fun terminology. All right. So here is a space-time diagram. We've got T and we have X. And we'll have an event that takes place at the origin. And um, We'll call this event, I don't know, E for event. Then imagine a light flash that goes out like this. We can imagine another one that goes to the left instead of to the right, but also at a 45 degree angle. And so I claim that any event that takes place in here could have been caused, could be causally connected to E. Why? Because these are all the um, uh, points in space-time that have a time-like relationship to E, or for which delta T is greater than delta X, or delta T squared is greater than delta X squared. So, um, in relativity, we would say that this belongs to the future of E. And that means that these are all the events that E could cause, that could be causally connected with E. Let's imagine for a moment that time was running backwards. So we had a light flash that went backwards in time. Or more realistically, we had a light flash here that happened to hit right at the event E. Um, so here, if I had an event here, say, these would also be causally connected, right? Because this is also time-like, because delta t is greater than delta x. So in this region, we could have events down here influencing event E. Like, the point over here couldn't influence E, couldn't be causally connected, because there's not enough time for a signal, even traveling at the speed of light, a signal couldn't make it to E. If I'm here, I just barely, there's just enough time. If the signal can travel at the speed of light, it can make it to E. And if I'm here, then there definitely can be a signal that can make it to E. So this is sometimes called the past of E. Past meaning these are all of the events that could cause or influence E, that are part of E's past. This region here is all possible events that E could influence. Um, so then in these regions out here, so it sort of look like a bow tie if I shaded it in, these are events that are not causally connected to E. They just have nothing to do with E. And this is sometimes called elsewhere. So 
So I want to stress that the future, the past, and elsewhere are all relative to a particular event. That um, um, a, a different event over here would have um, a different future, a different past, and a different elsewhere. Um, and lastly, I just want to introduce a little bit, um, a little bit more notation. Um, this future is sometimes called the light cone or the future light cone for this event. And this would be sometimes called the past life cone for this event. And the term cone is easier to see if we try to picture something in three dimensions. So in the figure that's on the screen now, you have, um, we have uh, a space-time diagram with X and Y drawn together. So then the horizontal plane, that would be now. And then we have an event at the origin and the set of all x, y points that are in the future of E constitute a, constitutes a cone heading upwards in the time um, along the time axis. Similarly, the past is a cone that's heading downwards in the, um, along the time axis in the x, y plane. So following this video is a quiz where you can think about future, past, and elsewhere events in space-time that can or cannot be causally connected. And then after that, we'll end the unit by thinking about the Einstein velocity transformations, the relativistic version of the Galilean velocity transformations.